Well, today I'm picking up a friend of mine and we're gonna go to Wausau and we gotta pick up all her furniture. Um, so yeah, should be an interesting day. She's pretty cool. Kinda hot, you know. And pretty too. And pretty too, huh? Well, you're kind of full of yourself, aren't you? You know? You gotta learn modesty there, kiddo. Anyway, yeah, so... Her name is Sarah, and... She's an old friend of mine. So... I hope today is... Productive. There you go. See that little red? See? Mm -hmm. That means it's recording. You can look huh? right at Daddy and record. Hi! Don't keep pushing the button. You only push it when you want to shut it off. Can you see me? You see my face? You don't want to record anymore. You don't want to record. So you press the record button. This one. Yep, the one you just pushed. Hang on. Push it hard. What you doing? Don't. Don't. <laughs> I'm not. Just looking at you. Can I look at you? No. So yeah, we uh, I took her into Wausau and spent about an hour there, and yeah, it's, uh, and then all the people had ankle, mon ankle monitors on. Even even the old people that were helping us, they all had ankle monitors. <laughs> so they were they were being forced to, uh, to to help us, and then you could totally tell that they did not want to help. They were just like, oh, uh, some of them were just so rude. And, you know, it's like an ultimatum. Either go to jail or wear an ankle monitor and help out at this ghetto-ass place that donates, you know, to people that are in need. And then the stuff they donate is just shit, man. I mean, the food was old. And they gave, they gave a, Sarah this cleaning solution, this spray solution they used to clean countertops. And there was like a quarter inch of it in, in the bottle. It was all empty. And um, I mean, the bread, oh my God, it was it was no good, man. They they should not even hand out food. And then the, the, the bed that my friend Sarah got was, it, 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 was, uh, it was a frame, uh, a single bed frame um, for, you know, for a child or, you know, just for one person. And uh, it had a crack. can't afford any food and like you know food stamps are 
completely diminished or you ain't getting enough. And I, that I can understand. Um, I actually could really do a, a really bitch story about it and I just missed my fucking turn. Son of a bitch. Me and my Gabby in here. Um, but yeah, I could totally talk about Wisconsin food chair program and just bash it. Oh my god, they have fucked, man. But I won't get into that right now. Hang on a second here, I gotta turn around. But anyway, right now, I am headed to what used to be a town, which is no more. There's no buildings left in it, and I am going to try some metal detecting. My first excursion into the great outdoors with my metal detector and uh, I'm hoping that you know I'm hoping I don't just find a bunch of metal or uh, iron junk because you know I mean well it, it, you never know I mean you could sit there and think about it all day you never know what you're gonna find so you know let's, let's see what happens um, and uh, yeah, so I'll just share that with you guys and we'll see what we find. And I hope I don't get in any trouble. I really didn't go out and get permission on this, but that's not like I'm going to be making a huge, huge job. Uh, what do you call that? And, uh, I can't fucking talk, man. I'm distracted. All right, I shouldn't be driving in that foggy. I'll talk to you when we get there. Well, my first item I found the nail <laughs> so we'll see what leads to or what, what we get next okay so it's been about 10 minutes since my last since I found that nail and look what I found <laughs> an old file that's interesting and an old bottle all right so I was going right beside my truck here and I got this. It says it's coin. Must be right on the surface. Or something really big. Unless it's my truck. Well, let's dig her up. Okay guys, so I've been out here for about an hour and a half now, and this is everything I found. Uh, two bottles, and that I found a bunch of these. A digital thermometer or something, a clock, back from the old days here, the late late eight, yeah, late eighties or so. Another tin can, bottle cap. I'm not sure what that is. But spike. And yeah, so a lot of junk. So I'm gonna try a new place for another half an hour and then I'm gonna call it quits. Alright, so I didn't find much of anything. I was digging in the wrong spot. I can tell you now where I was. Um, I wasn't going to originally because I didn't want to piss anybody off. Um, but I was looking for the old town, the actual town of March Rapids. It no longer exists anymore. A guy owns the property that the town used to be on. I was in the wrong spot entirely, and which explains why I didn't find anything. But I did find out who owned and where the property used to be, where the, um, uh, the town itself was built and then, you know, torn, torn down, and uh, so it, it's not accessible, I can't, the guy won't let me metal detect it, he says that people have been there throughout the years, you know, there have been hundreds of people that have probably, that have been there, he said, that have been there without asking permission, and, um, he was very happy that I stopped and asked for permission, but he would not give me the, you know, the okay to, to metal detect. And I'm a little, 
bummed out about that because I was really looking forward to it. And uh, but you know, but he did give me permission to walk the property, take some pictures if I want, and uh, see where the tunnel used to be. He can show me where the road is. Um, he can show me um, where some of the foundations are, stuff like that. So I'll show that to you um, probably in the next. You know, I'll make another video and I'll put it up, and you guys can check it out with me.